appearance of Sri Pundarik Vidyanidhi, appearance of Sri Raghunath Das Goswami, appearance of Raghunandana Thakur, and the disappearance of Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur. All these are celebrated today along with the first day of spring, which is Vasan Panchami. Om Gyan Timiram Dasya Gyanajana Salakaya Chaksu Navitam Yena Tasmai Shri Guru Vinamaha. Maum Vishnu Padaya Krishna Kristaya Bhutale Shri Makti Bhakti Viram Tasmai Tinamane. Namaste Sarasuri Devi Gauru Vani Pacharine Nivasisa Sunya Vadi Pastyatya De Sutarine. Panchakalpatu Vizcha Kripa Sindhu Pei Vicha Kutita Nam Pavane Vyo Vaishnave Vyo Namaho Namaha Daisa Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Sivas Hadikar Bhakta Vrindam Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Vivek Yes, Guru Maharaj. Send me that email about this video with Srila Prabhupada. Yes, Guru Maharaj. You want to share that video? Um, well, the thing is, um, what do you expect? Uh, what are you looking for? Sorry, Guru Maharaj, like, are you referring to that email? Yeah, I'm referring to your email. Y yes, Guru Maharaj, like, uh, that's like for 125th anniversary celebration. So any 15 minutes. You want, me, you want me to make a video? Yes, Guru Maharaj, if possible. Like, we are trying to get from all Prabhupada disciples. Is, I don't have any, any facility here for making videos. Unless I can get someone else to do it, but I don't know who that's going to be. Um, it's better if you just uh, connect with me on Zoom. Sure, Guru Maharaj. And then uh, I'll speak and you can video. Yes, yes. I think I can record it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the only way I can do it. Yeah, I, can't really do it. I can't do it by phone. I can't do it through the, with the facilities I have here. Yeah, that will be great, Guru Maharaj. Thank you. All right. We'll make a time for that in upcoming. Sure. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Yeah. Okay. So as we mentioned, today is... Uh, so we're going to break from our series on the... Uh, pastime of Lord Chaitanya and, and all the uh, residents of Navadvip marching on the house of Chankazi. And we're going to speak a little bit about today's um, festival. Um, around the world, uh, in our temples, we honor this day by dressing the deities in colors of yellow and light green, which indicates the, the, the appearance of the spring season. So in our temples, we generally, those temples that are aware and that follow it, I'm saying well, most temples are aware and they always adorn the deities, Radha and Krishna and the other deities in the colors of light green and yellow, or sometimes a combination of both, or sometimes just one of the two colors to indicate the coming of the appearance of the spring season. Of course, in the West, we have four seasons. In India, they have six seasons. So, so spring appears at this time, this particular year. Um, it's also Saraswati Puja. And it's not Saraswati, the uh, uh, wife of Lord Brahma, who is known as the goddess of goddess of knowledge. That's not the Saraswati that is indicated here. It's Lakshmi Devi, 
Actually, it's Mahalakshmi, not just Bhakti Lakshmi, but Mahalakshmi who appears in the form of Saraswati. And she, because Lakshmi Devi has many, many forms, she has eight particular manifestations of her appearance in different uh, time periods and different for different occasions. So today there is Saraswati Puja, and that goes on. Today is also the appearance of Vishnu Priya Devi. And Vishnu Priya Devi was the wife of Lord Chaitanya. And of course, Lord Chaitanya left her and took sannyas. And um, she lived uh, worshiping Lord Chaitanya in separation from the time he left, which she was 16 years old. It says here, Srila Prabhupada writes, the wife of Lord Chaitanya was a young woman of 16 years old when her husband took sannyas, leaving her without any children. But she always remembered him, so in that way she was always serving him, and she was never separated from him. So in the mood of separation from Lord Chaitanya, she worshipped Lord Chaitanya. She would um, eat whatever grains of rice she put aside during the day, which was what she had uh, chanted. She would chant a round of japa, and then she would take one grain of rice and put it aside. So her whole day was just chanting and remembering Lord Chaitanya. And at the end of the day, whatever rice was there, one rice for every round, she would prepare that and that's all she ate the whole day. So she was performing tremendous austerities. Vishnu Priya is one of the energies of the Supreme Lord. She is the Shakti energy known as Bhu Shakti. Krishna has Kriya Shakti, Bhu Shakti and Leela Shakti energies for accomplishing his different pastimes, both in the spiritual and the material world, they manifest with him. The Vishnu Priya was, um, was uh, a great personality who appeared. And as we mentioned in one of our lectures previously, the marriage between Lord Chaitanya and Vishnu Priya is nicely elaborately described in Chaitanya Mangala by Lochan Das Thakur. He very uh, thoroughly describes this particular pastime in detail of that marriage. And it's really an interesting read. Um, Vishnu Priya, when Lord Chaitanya was there, she served him very nicely. And more many times, Lord Chaitanya would bring many of his associates to come to, home, to his home for lunch. And sometimes he would bring up to 20 associates to come for lunch. And she very dutifully and served both her husband and all the guests very nicely with wonderful prasadam. So, and of course, uh, she had the association of uh, Sachi Mata, because after Lord Chaitanya left, of course, Sachi Mata went to uh, Jagannath, not Jagannath Puri, she went to the house of Vadvaita Acharya after Lord Chaitanya left. Navadvaita, he went to Shantipur first and stayed there with Advaita Acharya for about three months, I believe. And Dora, that was just before he entered Jagannath Puri. And then, of course, uh, um, during that time, Sachi Mata came and saw him, and she uh, prepared. She didn't want to leave her son so soon. And she was actually the one that encouraged Lord Chaitanya to make his residence in Jagannath Puri. The Lord was planning to go and stay in Vrindavan. 
But Masaji Mata convinced out of her natural love for her son to uh, stay in Jagannath Puri because then she said that Jagannath Puri and Navadweep are two rooms in the same house. And if you go to Vrindavan, we will never ever hear of you or see you again. But if you go to Jagannath Puri, we have a chance to come to see you during the Rathli Ashra season. And the Lord agreed. And during that time, Mother Sachi Mata cooked for the Lord every day for three months. And the Lord honored his mother's prashadam just to show his affection for his dear mother. After that three months, she went back to Navadvipa and she stayed with Vishnu Priya. And so the two of them were practically by themselves. There was one assistant called Ishana who would serve both Sachi Mata and uh, Vishnu Priya, mostly Sachi Mata. And so Vishnu Priya was very, uh, very much in separation. And before the Lord left, she pleaded to him that to give her something that she would be able to remember him with. So the Lord did something very special. He had one disciple, follower, not disciple, but follower named uh, Vamsibhat and uh, Vamsidari, I don't think his name is Vamsidari. And he asked him, please carve a murti of myself. I want to give that to my wife. And so the Lord posed for the Murti and he carved this beautiful Murti, which is still available today for Darshan. That's in the place called Koladweep in the area of Navadweep. It's one of the nine islands of the Navadweep area. And that deity is there. It's, it's Dameshwar Mahadev. Um, is there anyone out there that can put up a picture of Dameshwar Mahadev? He's very beautiful. Someone see if they can research and find a picture of Dameshwar Mahadev. And uh, you'll see this beautiful deity, full-size deity of Lord Chaitanya, uh, which was worshiped by Vishnu Priya. And then later after she departed, um, we don't know exactly how it got delivered, but eventually it wound up as a temple deity in Nabakoladweep. Yeah, there's the deity of Lord Chaitanya that was worshipped by Vishnu Priyam. Such a beautiful dia. deity. He's got his arms extended straight out. And uh, it is understood that when Lord Chaitanya has his arms raised over his head, he's dancing. When he has one arm raised over the head and one arm at the side and his feet are moving, dancing also. He's in ecstasy of dancing. And in this particular pose, this is the third and other only other pose you see Lord Chaitanya, he's giving full mercy, extending his lotus hands out, giving a gesture of delivering the full mercy of the Lord. So this is a very powerful and very attractive deity those who go there will find the darshan is very very beautiful very pleasing very uh, enlivening <laughs> thank you for posting that so that was a deity of vishnu priya who worshipped her whole life today is also the uh, Appearance day of Pundarik Vidyanidhi. Pundarik Vidyanidhi was an incarnation of, um, of uh, King Vrishabhanu, the father of Radharani, who appeared in Vrindavan as Radharani's father. And later he appeared in Lord Chaitanya's Leela as uh, Pundarik Vidyanidhi. There's a nice pastime where Lord Chaitanya sent uh, Gadadhar Pandit, the Gadadhar Pandit of the Panchatattva, to go and meet Pundarik Vidyanidhi, who was staying in Navadvip. 
Uh, he had just arrived in Navadweep, actually. And so Mukunda escorted uh, Gadadhar to meet uh, Pundarik Vidyanidhi. Now, Pundarik Vidyanidhi was a little bit different. He used to like opulence, uh, or he appeared to like opulence. He was always dressed in beautiful, beautiful clothing, silks, adorns very nicely. He would use sometimes makeup. His hair was uh, very much fragrant with various types of oils. And his residence was always quite opulent with nice bedsteads, watering water pots, flower pots, uh, everything, carpets. And he also had servants wherever he went. So when Gadadhar, you know, Gadadhar and Lord Chaitanya are in a very opposite mood. Lord Chaitanya's mood is Vairagya Vidya Nija Bhakti Yoga. He is in the mood of renunciation. And he doesn't surround himself in any way with any kind of opulence. He lives very simply. He's always traveling. If he's not traveling, he's, he's always living in a very simple hut. But Pundarik Vidyanidhi was quite the opposite, very uh, uh, luxuriously dressed. And Lord Chaitanya used to refer to him as father. So that's interesting because Lord Chaitanya is in the mood of Radharani. Um, so when uh, Mukunda had taken Gadadhar to the residence of Pundarik Vidyanidhi, he introduced Pundarik Vidyanidhi to Gadadhar. And then uh, Gadadhar, when he was seeing this person, he was feeling a little uncomfortable because he was seeing all the opulence surrounding him. And Lord Chaitanya told him he's a great devotee. So he was feeling somewhat uncomfortable thinking Huh, he's a great devotee, but look at all this opulence he surrounds himself with. So um, knowing the mind of Gadadhar, Mukunda picked up on it and he started to chant one verse. Um, can you go to that verse? Uh, it's Srimad Bhagavatam, third canto, second chapter, verse number 23. 3 to 23, I believe that's the verse. We put it up on the screen. I want to. This is the verse that was chanted by Mukunda during the time that. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Aho bakiyam stanakala kutam jigasa yad pa yad api sadvi lebe getam datru uchitam tato yam kimba dalulam sharanam rajame. And this verse refers to Krishna killing the demon Putana. Alas, how shall I take shelter of one more merciful than he who granted the position of mother to a she-demon Putana, although she was unfaithful and she prepared deadly poison to be sucked from her breast. So when Mukunda chanted that verse in the presence of, um, we won't go into the verse, when he chanted that verse into the in the presence of Pundarik Vidyanidhi, Pundarik Vidyanidhi went into ecstasy. When he heard that verse, his mind became so disturbed with loving ecstasy that he went mad, thinking how merciful, how kind, how loving Lord Krishna is that Here's a demon who came to kill him and he granted her the position of mother. Although she was unfaithful and had came come with ill reasons. Thinking in this way, Pundarik Vidyanidhi went into ecstasy and in his ecstasy, he was rolling on the ground and then his ecstasy became quite, quite violent. He started to take things in his house that were of value and throw it in different directions. He was ripping his clothes. 
This went on for six hours without stop. This ecstasy of Pundarik Vidyanidhi, remembering Krishna's mercy upon Putana witch. His servants were there trying to control him, but they could not. And after six hours, you know, when Gadadhar saw this, and this was the whole pro program to, have, to show Gadadhar what a great devotee this person was, because he had doubts. And then uh, when he saw, uh, he was feeling bad that he had doubted Lord Chaitanya and doubted uh, the Pundarik Vidyanini. After the six hours, then Gadadhar said to Mukunda, you know, I want to take initiation from Pundarik Vidyanidhi. And then he communicated that to Pundarik Vidyanidhi, who had come out of his ecstasy. And Pundarik Vidyanidhi say, oh, yes, very, one is very fortunate to have such a disciple as Sri Gadadhar Pandit. And so Gadadhar did that because he wanted to make up for his uh, uh, mental offense. It wasn't a real offense, but in his mind, he was thinking wrongly of Pundarik. So he decided to take shelter of him, realizing he was such a great devotee. And um, this is interesting because Pundarik Vidyanidhi is uh, King Vishubhanu and Gadadhar is a manifestation of Srimati Radharani. So Radharani and her father, Vishubhanu, have been reunited in Gorlila as Gadadhar Pandit and Pundarik Vidyanidhi. That's a wonderful, wonderful pastime. And then we have Raghunath Das Goswami. I think we spoke at length one whole, one whole session on Raghunath Das Goswami. We'll say a few words about him. His renunciation was compared to lines carved into a rock, <laughs> which means you could, you, if you have lines carved into a rock, you can't erase them. <laughs> It's not so easy. So his, his determination to perform austerities were beyond the norm. Uh, every day he would offer 2000 obeisances to the Lord. Every day he would offer 1000 obeisances to the Vaishnavas. This was his daily and he would chant so many rounds. He met Lord Chaitanya after escaping from his home, his parents were very rich and didn't want him to leave. They wanted him to stay married to the beautiful girl that they had arranged for him. He gave up his home. His parents were extremely wealthy. By comparison to today's standard, they were considered to be billionaires. That's how wealthy they were. And he had a beautiful wife, which was like an angel, as it's described. She was very faithful. But he saw that all as just the garbage in the street. He, should, he wanted to be a devotee of Lord Chaitanya. And so he left everything, escaped from his imprisonment and his family life, and went and joined Lord Chaitanya in Jagannath Puri and performed great austerities. Raghunath Das Goswami is a manifestation of a very intimate association, an intimate associate of Lord of Shimati Radharani in the spiritual world. He is called Rati Banjari, and uh, he's written some beautiful, beautiful prayers in glorification of Radharani that are considered the best of all prayers in glorification of Shimati Radharani. I can't remember the name, it's called. Mm, Kusmanjali, does anyone know the whole name? There's two words, Vyati, Vyata something Kusmanjali. Anyone out there, no? Mm, well, Shiva Ram Maharaj has written one book 
by that same title, um, giving us the prayers of Raghunath Das Goswami to um, Shimati Radharani, and he also gives his explanations to help us understand more easily the uh, depth of these beautiful prayers. Well, that's Raghunath Das Goswami. His renunciation can never be compared to anybody. He was so renounced. It's easy to renounce something if you don't have it. It's just like sometimes we use this uh, little antidote. A man, he's a grain merchant. He's sitting in his little stall in, in the marketplace. And he's a grain merchant. And a big wind comes blowing in and it takes his grains and blows them up in the sky. And they're going... And while they're going, he's saying, my dear Lord, please accept my offering. Now, you can't do that. <laughs> once, it's, once something is taken away, you can't offer it. You can't renounce it. It's already gone. <laughs> so, um, but Raghunath Das Goswami, yeah, there's the book. Vilapa Kusumanjali. Kusumanjali. That's a beautiful book. Yeah. Uh, there's beautiful prayers like that. It's taken from the Stava Bali, the song by Raghunath. That's from glory, we glorify Sri Radhi and praise. Yeah, so um, I wouldn't, to read the prayers directly in the translations, I think would be very present, pre, pretentious on our part, but we should read uh, Shivaram Maharaj's presentation to help us understand more clearly. Um, and then we have Raghunandana Thakur, his disappearance day is also today. Raghunandana Thakur was the son of um, uh, Suryadas. Sarah Kayla, I believe. Yeah. It's, um, no, his name was not, it was not Surya Das, but his name was uh, Mukunda. I think he was the brother of Surya Das Sarah Kayla. Yeah, he was the brother. His name was Mukunda Sarah Kayla. And he was a physician. One time, Lord Chaitanya said, Mukunda, your son's name is Raghunandana. So who is the father and who is the son? Lord Chaitanya was teasing him and testing him at the same time. So Raghunandana, I mean, uh, Mukunda, he said, oh, my Lord, uh, Raghunandana, he's my father, and I am his son. Because it's understood that the son le learns from the father. Raghunandana was such a powerful devotee of the Lord. Even as a young boy, his father, Mukunda, would go to work. And one time he, he instructed his wife to teach his son how to worship the deity while he went to work. So he left and she instructed him, you go into the deity room. And the deity was named Gopinath. And you bring this glass of milk, warm milk and this latu, and you offer it to him. And she taught him how to do the whole offering. And so he was five years old at the time, young boy. So dutifully, he took the milk Lado put it in front of Gopinath, sat down, chanted the mantra his mother told him, and then rang the bell. And then after that, he called Gopinath, please, Gopinath, come take your meal. And we know, you know, how the Lord, it's mentioned in the, uh, in the Brahma Samhita, that all the Lord's uh, senses are interchangeable. 
he can eat with his eyes. He can walk with any of the limbs. That, in other words, his senses are not limited to the function of the sense, the particular sense. He can do any of the activities of all of the senses with one, any one sense. That's Krishna, that's the Supreme Lord. That's Narayan. And so um, after calling the Lord, uh, little Raghunandana, seeing that the Lord wasn't doing anything, that's what his vision was, he started to say, my dear Lord, you know, I'm offering this food, but you're not eating, so eat. And then the deity still didn't do anything. <laughs> Finally, Raghunandana started to cry and demand that the Lord eat, saying that his parents will be upset if, because he, they, they gave him this service and you're not eating. So when Gopinath saw that, Gopinath, when Gopinath heard that, he said, I'm a deity. I don't eat like you. <laughs> he actually spoke to Raghunandana. <laughs> and uh, so Raghunandana said, no, 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 you have to eat, eat, eat. So the Lord wanted to show mercy to his servant. So he drank the milk and ate the ladu. And then when the boy came out, there was nothing there for the prashadam. So his mother asked him what happened. <laughs> and so he uh, said, well, Gopinath ate it. <laughs> and his mother was a little bewildered, not knowing what to think. But she waited until her husband came home, Bakunda, and he asked him. And then she, he told him, told him the same thing. At first he wouldn't eat, but then I was crying and then he ate. So he ate everything. Mukunda was thinking, hmm, this boy doesn't lie. <laughs> He's a very good boy. He doesn't lie. He's been trained in the right way. So he wanted to find out more. So the next day, the same thing. But this time Mukunda didn't go to work. He kind of hid behind some place to watch what was happening in the deity room. And again, the same scenario, and he's offered everything called the Lord. And this time the Lord drank half the milk and ate half the ladu. And when Mukunda saw that, he was amazed. And then later on, that's when Lord Chaitanya asked him, who is the father and who is the son? So this was Raghunanda Thakur. He was also present, personally present when uh, Naratam Das Thakur, Srinivasacharya, performed a Ketari festival where they had Kirtan and Lord Chaitanya and all his associates who had disappeared from the planet had reappeared in that Kirtan and he saw his father Mukunda reappeared along with Lord Chaitanya. So Raghunandana was such a powerful devotee that when the story got around about what happened with the deity, one very powerful devotee, his name was Abhirama Saka, who was an incarnation of Lord Balaram. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, not about Lord Balaram, but an incarnation of Sridam, Sridam, the uh, cowherd boy from Sri Vrindavan Dam, he appeared as Abhiram Saka. Now, Aribram Saka was really, really powerful. He used to carry a whip with him, which was called Jai Mangala. That was the name of the whip. And if he touched anybody with the whip, that person would get uh, love of God immediately. Immediately. <laughs> and another thing is that he would pay obeisances to the Shalagram Shilas. And if it wasn't a real Shila, because sometimes people would just get a black rock and say it was a Shila, he would pay obeisances to that rock or Shila, either one. And if it was a real Shila, nothing would happen. But if it wasn't, the rock would break into pieces. And so it was understood that if Abhiram Saka paid obeisances to anyone, and if that person was not a pure devotee, that person would immediately die. <laughs> so 
When the parents of Raghunandana heard that Abhiram Saka wanted to meet their son, knowing he would pay obeisances to the son, they became really frightened. So they took their son and hid him in a, in a different village when Abhiram was passing through. But Abhiram, he understood that um, Raghunandana had been switched to another village. So he went to that village <clears throat> and met Raghunandana. And when he saw him, immediately pay his obeisances to him. And the boy did not die. He was already a pure devotee at the age of five or six years old. <laughs> So that was Raghunanda Thakur, the son of uh, Mukunda Sarukela. <clears throat> and then the last, and of course not least in, in any sense of word today, is the disappearance day of Vishwanath Chakravati Thakur. And uh, we know Vishwanath Chakravati Thakur is one of the greatest of all commentators on the Srimad Bhagavatam. He has written Saradhar, Saratha Darshani, which is a commentator on the commentation on the entire Bhagavatam, including every verse from the Bhagavatam and commenting on many of them, giving his own commentaries. Those who want to go deeper and understand more about the text of Srimad Bhagavatam, even Srila Prabhupada's purport, should carefully study Srimad Bhagavatam along with the commentaries of uh, Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur. Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur lived in Vrindavan most of his life. He didn't travel so much. He was mostly an author. He has written many, many books. Um, besides this particular book, uh, there are a few other books that I can't remember the names of right now off the top of my head. Um, but Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur is really one of the greatest of all Vaishnavas. And you'll see throughout Prabhupada's purports, both in Bhagavad Gita and every place Prabhupada writes, many times he gives the commentaries of Sri Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur. Um, Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur one time was involved with some controversy <clears throat> wherein there was a group of uh, Vaishnavas called the Ramanandis. The Ramanandis were in Jaipur and uh, they had criticized the Vaishnavas for not uh, having what is called a commentary on the Vedanta Sutra. Every bona fide uh, uh, Sampradaya has to have a commentary on the Vedanta Sutra in order, otherwise they're not bona fide. So we were, so our response to their criticism was we do. And that is Srimad Bhagavatam. That is the commentary on the Vedanta Sutra by given by Vyasadeva himself, the author of Vedanta Sutra, author of Srimad Bhagavatam. But uh, the Ramanandis wouldn't accept it and they complained to the king, King Govinda Singh, I think his name was at the time. In, and the king was also a great devotee of the Lord. So he questioned the Vaishnavas there. Where's your commentary? Well, wow, Bhagavatam. Well, wow, we, we don't accept that as the commentary. So what to do in order to establish the authority of the Gaudiya Vaishnava tradition? So the word came to Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, who was in Vrindavan at the time. Um, sometimes we say that uh, Jaipur is considered to be Vrindavan also. It has that mood of Vrindavan. And then because many of the deities uh, that were being threatened by Arunzek when he was breaking the temples in the 1500s after Lord Chaitanya left, um, Many of those deities were moved to Jaipur, and still some of them are still there. The Radha Damodar is still there. Radha, Radha, let's see, I think Radha Gopinath is still there. Radha Govinda is definitely still there. In fact, the Radha Govinda temple is one of the most popular temples, if not the most popular temple in Jaipur itself. Every day for Mangalarti, there's 
more than a thousand people there coming just for the Mangalarti. And so when the word got back to that Vishwanath Chakravarti was the only person alive amongst the Vaishnavas who could have done this writing of a, a commentary on the Vedanta Sutra. But he was old and he was in Vrindavan and his health was not, would not allow him to travel. So he decided, well, maybe I can do it through another person. So he con contacted Baladev Vidyabhushan. We all know Baladev Vidyabhushan. If you read the beginning of Bhagavad Gita, Prabhupada dedicated his Bhagavad Gita to Baladev Vidyabhushan. Vidya means knowledge and Bhushan means one who is decorated with transcendental knowledge. So Baladev Vidyabhushana was asked by, by Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur to do the work. And he was thinking, oh my God, how am I going to be able to do this work? But there was no one else. So he decided to take up the, the great task. So he went first to the, Go the Govindaji temple to pray to Govindaji so he could receive the mercy and, and the empowerment to do this work. And while he was praying, the garland fell from Govindaji down and it fell right on Baladev, who was offering his obeisances right at the feet of Govindaji. He was right there by the Lord's lotus feet and the, the garland fell. When everyone saw that, everyone said, Jai! It was an ex exclamer of great happiness among the Vaishnavas. And Baladev felt the mercy. And therefore, he entitled his commentary called Govindia, Govinda Basya. So that's the actual title of the commentary on the Vedanta Sutra that was written by him. And Govinda Basya means Govinda speaks. <laughs> so he gave all credit to the Lord for actually speaking through him as he wrote the uh, commentary on the Vedanta Sutra. And once that was done, it was offered to the Ramanandis and to the king, the king had no other recourse, but he accepted it. It was a beautiful commentary on Vedanta Sutra. But of course, in our tradition, when we speak and people ask us, what is your commentary on Vedanta Sutra? We say without any hesitation, it is Srimad Bhagavatam, which it is. And that is, that is given by all the Acharyas. And Srila Prabhupada also mentions that in his lectures. So this is a little bit about Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur. Mostly if you want to learn more about Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur's life, uh, there is information available, but mostly you can learn about him through his writings, especially his commentaries um, on uh, Srimad Bhagavatam and other writings that he did from Radha and Krishna's pastimes in Sri Vrindavan Dham. So these are the personalities. Uh, I remember, just to give you a little uh, uh, side uh, story, I remember in the year 2002, I was in uh, London, Bhaktivedanta Manor. At that time, Krishna Shetra Prabhu, he was Prabhu at the time, now he's Maharaj, was there, uh, myself and uh, um, Tamal Krishna Goswami, we, we, all three of us were there. And this was the day. So they asked us each to speak on a particular personality. And there was also um, other devotees. I think there was also Gauri, Gauri, who was a devotee in the manor. Uh, he also, he was the president of the manor at that time. And he, so the before, between the four of us, we spoke on all these personalities. Um, 
Krishna Shetra Maharaj spoke on Saraswati Puja. I spoke on the appearance of Srimati Vishnu Priya. And I believe I also spoke on Pundarik Vidyaniti. I believe someone's, no, I spoke on Raghunanda Thakur. Someone spoke on Pundarik Vidyaniti. And uh, a beautiful ending of the whole, this was, this was a morning Bhagavatam class, which lasted the whole morning. <laughs> it was interesting because we began our lecture at the, the Bhagavatam time, which we all know is 7.30 at the Bhaktivedanta Manor. And at nine o'clock, it was time for breakfast. So we all broke for breakfast, took breakfast together and then came back and finished the, the talks all the way up through the rest of the morning. And uh, Tamal Krishna Goswami gave a beautiful, beautiful explanation of the life of Vishwanath Chakravarti uh, Kaur. And that was in 2002 on February 17th, I believe the date was, or February 12th, I'm not sure, one of the two dates. It's practically uh, right to the date where we are now. And of course, Tamal Krishna Goswami disappeared one month later. He left the world in, in March, on March 15, uh, 2002. So it was, I had the good fortune to associate with him for that last time during that most, we had a very wonderful breakfast together, <laughs> along with many other devotees. And I uh, had the good fortune to associate with Maharaj, who was one of Srila Prabhupada's most intimate associates and a disciple and, and an associate at the same time. Prabhupada gave him a lot of great responsibilities. He gave him a lot of uh, opportunities. And then Tamal Krishna Goswami did so many things to spread Krishna consciousness around the world. And that's another lecture we could speak about Maharaj's achievements and and making Srila Prabhupada's mission uh, stronger and stronger during the time he was here with us. <laughs> okay, so today again is Vashan Panchami, the first day of spring, very glorious day. So many great personalities appeared, along with the disappearance of Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur. So we'll stop here and uh, see if there's any comments or questions. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you very much. Uh, like so many beautiful pastimes on such auspicious day. Uh, I think it's a very, very good start for everyone. So thank you, Maharaj. And uh, Hare Krishna devotees, if you have any questions, comment, uh, please unmute yourself. Uh, you can ask now, or if you would like to uh, put this in the chat window, then I can read on your behalf. Thank you.
We have something from Jai Radhe. Yes, uh, she has written today is an installation day of Sri Sri Radha Govind in New York City, and but it's told by Sheila Prabhupada in Jaipur. Jai Radhe, are are you there at the temple today? Actually, I'm in um, New Rindavan, actually. What are the colors of the deities dressed as? In, in, uh, in New York? Oh, I'm in Rindavan or New Rindavan also. Okay. Um, well, this morning they were, um, for, for Mangalarti, they were wearing blue. Uh, I haven't taken darshan yet of them. Uh, for their day outfit yet. Well, the, the blue is the night outfit. Right. So then, yeah, you want to see, we're wondering what they had made for today's for Sun Punch. And... I'll, I'll have to go see. I was going to go after your class. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's early there, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's only uh, seven o'clock there now, right? Uh, eight. Eight? Okay. Okay. Thank you for telling us about Radha Govinda. I'm still waiting for you to send me that picture, which I've been waiting for what, six months now. <laughs> Sorry, Mara. <laughs> I, I was just trying to get a, a nice high quality picture and I was asking around to a few devotees um, and they just haven't been able to produce one to me but I'll get on their case about sending it to me sorry Mara. Yeah, I, I, uh, I have to complete my my collection of deities here I have the pictures of all the deities except Radha Govinda I'm so sorry I, I'll work on it Radha Govinda was the first Radha Krishna deities that I ever saw. And uh, in, in uh, Henry Street back in 1973. Wow. Okay. Hare Krishna devotees, any questions, any comments from anyone? Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to you Maharaj. Well, thank you for a wonderful uh, narration of the introduction and pastimes of all the glorious personalities. Um, I am just quite keen, it's just a comment slash observation. That he was quite keen uh, in those days as well to prove the authenticity of the Sampradaya, mm -hmm. uh, which was done through Baladev, Srila Baladev Vidya Bhushan to Vishwana Chakravati Thakur, because there is so many upper Sampradayas and so many bogus things that goes on in India. And uh, the importance of Sampradaya is so, so, so important, uh, yeah. so valid. Very important. Otherwise, you don't have any authority anywhere. What is that? You know that verse by Sanatana Goswami? Sampradaya, Vita, Hina, Mantra, Tantras, Sada, Sara. The Nishfale, without coming the mantra from the Sampradaya, the mantra is. Uh not beneficial that one yeah do you, do, you, do you know the whole verse no maharaj no maharaj hmm. yeah unless it's coming from sampradaya it doesn't have any benefit that it's not accepted knowledge has to be authoritative otherwise knowledge is People, it's fashionable, especially in Kali Yuga, to come up with people, their own people's own ideas. And then there's so much of that around. Um, 
Srila Prabhupada was very adamantly determined to make sure that we understood the philosophy correctly and presented it correctly. And he was always very uh, concerned if something was not presented correctly, he would immediately vocalize and make the correction. His eagerness to make sure everything was done according to, to the knowledge that was given was probably his most outstanding quality in terms of how he presented himself. It was, if you said something different than what Prabhupada said, he would let you know it. <laughs> and he always backed up. If you listen to Srila Prabhupada, he always backed up everything he said with Shastra. He didn't simply speak. I think maybe it's like this, perhaps I heard. No, oh, this is what it is. I think it's just another in a comment related to the Ramanandi Sampradaya uh, or the Ramanandi offshoots. Uh, recently, uh, there is another Ramanandi Sampradaya, which the, the original Ramanandi Sampradaya don't acknowledge these other ones, but somebody, another big institutions coming in that line, uh, they tried to uh, give their own presentations on Vedanta Sutra at the Kashi uh, Vidyapit, uh, sorry, Kashi uh, Vidvavit. Uh, Sabha just mm -hmm. recently yeah, and uh, there was there was heavy heavy criticism from all the sampradayas that this is a bogus sampradaya and this interpretation should not be accepted so it's so important that uh, the, the the authenticity of the sampradaya has to be has to be there because yeah, well the, the original Ramanandis are offshoot of Sri Sampradaya right Correct, correct. But then there is another yes. one which claims that they are belonging to Ramanandi Sampradaya, which they don't acknowledge. The original Ramanandi don't accept them. So, or Sri Sampradaya don't acknowledge them. And they presented some very, very bogus conclusions on the Vedanta Sutra, mm -hmm. which, which was then accepted in Kashi or, or presented in, in Vishwa Vidya. You said recently. How, re how recent was that? Two, one and a half year ago, Maharaj. Really? Huh. Yes. So um, they did, did they try to defend themselves? No, they basically uh, so so uh, sorry who the uh, that that other sampradaya? Yeah, yeah, that sampradaya somehow wants to claim that they are authentic Vaishnava sampradaya. So basically, they created a fifth sampradaya. So they wanted to present a conclusion that we are the fifth sampradaya, mm -hmm. and in order to do that, we are presenting our arguments uh, in the form of our commentary on Vedanta Sutra. <laughs> so uh, we just like do we we need another sampradaya right <laughs> <laughs> and and somehow it was accepted as well uh, so, so and kashi uh, with with sabha which then was heavily condemned by the other sampradayas very heavily but obviously well, with with money everything can be bought so <laughs> it is yeah. quite interesting was the other sampradayas represented there uh yeah yeah they are they are represented there as well but kashi vidva with uh, some uh, sabha in kashi is uh, they are their own body but some of some of the sampradayas are, are presented there but uh, normally that was how the system was as i as i i think uh, i'm not sure where every scholar would then present their arguments to get it authorized approved in that kashi vidva vishwavit sabha Probably. Probably Madhva Sampradaya really smashed them. <laughs> no, Sri Sampradaya smashed them, and there were huge articles written. Yeah, Madhva also, Sri also, because they were claiming that they are from Sri, which Sri Sampradaya never acknowledged them in the first place, so it was even worse for them. And mm. uh, then the uh, the Vallabhacharya, the Rudra Sampradaya, Vallabhacharya Sampradaya, uh, Pushti Margi, they also heavily uh, criticized uh, and condemned that, that conclusion. How about us? We were we in there? Ramasana. No, uh, we didn't do any. Uh, 
iskon doesn't get into those comments as you know maharaj <laughs> yeah right 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 because it's endless you know <laughs> it's endless correct but 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 because you mentioned ramanandi there i you know this sort of incident came because this was quite interesting topic uh, where you know people would to to claim that they are vaishnava authentic vaishnava they don't want to be in line of the four sampradayas but then you would create another sampradaya and uh, this is the kali yuga but and, and that's why it's so important even for devotees i think maharaj to know what are the four sampradayas and 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 make sure that they are in in alignment of those because it's very difficult to distinguish between the other sampradaya sometimes they appear so similar yeah but then we have that verse from sanatan goswami about you know the mantra has to come from the authorized sampradaya otherwise it's not authorized yes so they creating they're creating their own mantras too <laughs> yes they have their own mantras they have their own definition of gods as well maharaj <laughs> It's quite interesting. Yeah, people like to make God a little bit different than who he actually is. <laughs> Sorry, Maharaj, it's an off topic, but I just thought it's a, it's a comment oh, about it, the authenticity. It's, it's interesting to know because you know, at least it was smashed. I don't know how did they they continue on with their uh, deviations after they got smashed. Yeah, Maharaj, they're quite big financially. They're quite big. um they're supported by really a lot of rich people huh yes yes that's fashionable this like i won't mention this one group that is very very powerfully you know, they have temples all over the world and they're, they're they're giving support by very rich gujaratis mostly uh yeah and they they i guess you know who i'm talking about <laughs> yeah mara they are the same one i think i i think we <laughs> between the lines really yes yes they're, oh no really because they claim they claim that their founder is krishna correct correct mara that same one oh okay oh okay well, if you're gujarati you know all about it <laughs> <laughs> i i just feel sad because you know krishna lived in gujral for 100 years and then come up with a different concoction and uh, it is very very strange but as prabhu vad mentions that many times that you know there are the cheaters and the cheated and uh, wherever there are people who want to don't have a genuine desire to find god then you will find cheaters mm-hmm. Why are they going into a sampradaya after so many years of being established as an another movement? That's It's interesting. I mean they have gorgeous temples, but I've been in one of their I've actually went to the temple in London. And when I went in there, inside it's very gorgeous, but there's no life. You can't you can't feel the spiritual energy there. their energy is not there but you know everything else the ornamentation of all the carvings of the deities everything is there it looks quite attractive from that perspective but you could sense that there wasn't much life in the temple <laughs> Oh. Now now everything's clear. <laughs> yeah. When Prabhupada was question one time Prabhupada was speaking. Uh and some man he was feeling a little bit anxious. He said Swami ji. He said to Prabhupada Swami ji We have so many sadhus we have so many saintly men in India but yet we have so many problems <laughs> so prabhupada's response was that's your problem you don't know who's a saintly person is <laughs> <laughs> somebody who can dress himself up as the uh, you know the image of a saintly person and speak something 
there's this other guy that's on that's running around now in India. He's got a huge following. So huge. I can't remember his name. Uh, a lot of his followers are Westerners. And he's giving all these lectures around. So I can't remember his name. I can't, I can't, I can't think of his name, but everybody knows him. Oh, Sadhguru, yeah. Sadhguru, yes. Sadhguru. <laughs> Sadhguru. So two of our members of our congregation who are re extremely rich, and they're actually, I won't mention their names. They're, they're one of the richest families in India. They're also members of our, our, our uh, society. So they came to one of his meetings and they asked him a question about, you know, and the question was somewhat indicating that Rama and Krishna are both the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And Sadhguru's response was that this Rama and Krishna is all somebody's concoction. It's not even true. When they heard that, boy, they got so angry. And they, they immediately left the, the meeting. That happened about a year ago, I think. This guru, that guru. Because then it also, when I hear this, uh, when in, in the preaching especially, uh, I I feel that we all, you know, our our, it's not our, it's, it's the scriptural evidence that the guru sadhu sastras needs to go and has to be in sync and in and harmonized, and it comes back to shastra, and then it comes back to Vedas and all the scriptures, and then it comes back to how do we establish when we are doing the preaching how do we come up put across uh, the authenticity of the vedas not authenticity but to have a common reference point because there are many institutions who would uh, would, would target that point you know for example oh where is it written or when we say oh it's a scriptural uh, uh, argument and then they, and you know then they would say Yes, but it was written by a person, so we don't we don't trust that scripture. In fact, we have our own scriptures, which is basically taken from the, the Vedas, but modified. So I, I find that sometimes quite challenging, in the sense that if, if if somehow you know I can develop a technique to to establish the authenticity of the Vedas, yeah, uh, of the scriptures. That's done, that's done on a, the Prabhupada called the Triangle of Truth. Yeah, which is Guru Sadhu Shastra. What the Shastras say, the Guru has to be also, uh, uh, you know, speaking beyond be, Guru has to speak on behalf of the Shastras and the saints that have gone before the Acharyas, they also have to confirm. So when these three line up with a trans with a particular philosophical point of knowledge, then that can be accepted. Guru Sadhu and Shastra. Shastra is Krishna, and Guru speaks on, on Shastra and gives the understanding of Shastra. And the Acharyas, the saints, the one before, we call that Sadhu in this case, they, they confirm based on what the, uh, by referencing their life and their teachings, we can understand what is actually a point of knowledge and what is not. Well, that takes a lot of intelligence, not just somebody who's just reading books. You know? <laughs> but that's 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 what there's where the confirmation comes through these three points. That's why Prabhupada would say, triangle of truth. When these three line up, that is then that, that is a that is a a philosophical knowledge point of philosophical knowledge. But everything comes from Shastra. Shastra is the base. But then again, people should translate and interpret Shastra according to their own understanding. That's why Prabhupada titled his Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavad Gita as it is. Not Bhagavad Gita as I see it, 
of Bhagavad Gita in order for me to get elected to a political post. <laughs> I remember one time I was reading one version of the Bhagavad Gita that was done as an as a synopsis of the Bhagavad Gita in the form of an article in one magazine. It was quite extensive and they took up the whole, practically the whole magazine. But that was, I was reading it, although the language was very flowery, very poetic and very pleasing, there was no indication of Krishna as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So after reading that, I became a little bit unhappy and disturbed. So I found the author's name it was in there, of course. And then I referenced his connection and I found that he was a professor at a university in America, in Georgia, Georgia University, Georgia State, or University of Georgia, I think either one. So I decided to uh, speak to the man and let him know that, you know, I liked what you wrote, but at the same time, uh, we have to understand that Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead and not just, he's not just a, a figure within this, this treatise called Bhagavad Gita. So I happened to get him on a phone. <laughs> I called him up on the phone and he answered. I got right to him in his office and I introduced myself and I complimented him to, uh, on his, his article, but then I got to the point and then when I got to the point, he, he started to remain silent and didn't say anything. And then finally, uh, after making my point that Krishna is the speaker of the Bhagavad Gita, and this has to be explained when we present the Bhagavad Gita, uh, he, he asked me, uh, he asked me, well, who are you, who are you and where you, what group are you from? And I said, I'm from the International Society of Krishna Consciousness. And then when he heard that, he immediately excused himself from the conversation. <laughs> so that was my attempt to somehow or other try to straighten his personality out. But you can't straighten these people out. Like you read know, Prabhupada says, you know, they're just, they want name, they want fame, they want some kind of a claim, they want something from presenting, as Prabhupada said, there was over 700 editions of the Bhagavad Gita, but until we presented our edition, not really anyone became a real student and follower of the Bhagavad Gita. So it's our duty as devotees to defend the tradition, defend the knowledge, defend the philosophy. And Prabhupada was really strong on that. Really strong on that. And therefore, it's actually a duty of the disciples to write commentaries fortifying and substantiating the knowledge coming from the spiritual master's books. And that's one of the services of the followers to write their own books, establishing that the Goswamis did that also amongst themselves. And they also wrote commentaries to establish what is already there because if you just leave Bhagavatam the way it is and you don't have some explanation of how to understand it or what is its authenticity then people will find easy reasons to tear it apart therefore you have Jiva Goswami, you have Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, you have Akan everybody has commented, has commented on Bhagavatam as being the uh, you know the supreme knowledge within this age of Kali. There's nothing greater than Sriman Bhagavatam for transcendental knowledge. Yeah. Okay, so I guess we are 
have to conclude here. Yeah, Guru Maharaj, already it's 25 past one. But Maharaj, as you rightly said, it's like today, every temple is having yellow or yellow green colors on duty. You saw the deities? Yeah, this is Radha Landaneshwar, Guru Maharaj. Oh, huh. there you go. Okay, Radha Landaneshwar, beautiful. Yellow green. Yes. And a little uh, purple in there just to give it some. Yeah. The sun punch me. Does anybody have Radha Gokul Ananda? Anybody? Yes, yes, Guru Maharaj, I have got. I don't know what happened. I'm just like getting that. Yeah. Okay. I already got it. I got Radha Madha from Mayapur, like uh, Mataji. Okay. And also one. Uh, one also on uh, Vishnu Priya Mataji temple in uh, Navdeep Dham today. Hmm. One devotee shared okay. that. Radha Gukularan is so beautiful today. Is it Radha Madhava? Radha Madhava, oh yes. Springtime. Wow, look at that. Hey. I don't know why it's not allowing me to change or switch to a different photo. Because we want to see it even more. <laughs> see, this is Radha Gokul and yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And this is Vishnu Priya Mataji Temple in Navadip. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Why would anyone look to the beauty of this world? The beauty of this world is pale compared. Yes. Thank you for the one on Radhamana with that one was stunningly stunning and especially also all of them were so attractive. So Guru Maharaj, should we go for chanting today, please? Yeah, we can begin our round. Yeah, thank you. Jai Sri Krishna, Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Gadadara, Sri Vasari, Gaur Bhakti Vindam, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. 
Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Krishna Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare. Krishna Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. 
Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Rama, the Rama, Hari 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 Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, the Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, the Rama, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, the Rama, Ram Ram, Hari 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 Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari 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 Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Hare Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari Hari Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare. Go ahead, Jai Radhe, share your camera. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Oh, okay. Go to Thai. Hi, Sri Sri Radhavindavan Chandra Ki Jai. Jai. Giri Govardhan Ki Jai, Nachi Ki Jai. Jai. Nishringa Dev Ki Jai. Bala Nishringa Ki Jai. Jai. Thank you. That was nice. Um, Shamarani, are you there? Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, I offer my humble obeisance on your lotus feet. All glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to you. How is your health? I'm getting better, Guru Maharaj. Thank you. Getting better. Fully recovered yet? <laughs> Um, no, not fully recovered yet. No, no. Okay. Um, we yeah. Pray that you can become fully recovered. Thank you. Somebody so posted. Yeah. Thank you. Somebody posted a beautiful picture of uh, Shishi Radha Ramanji. 
Yes, Guru Maharaj. I got this from one devotee. So yeah, put it, put it back up. You yeah, put it up again. Yes, yes, Guru Maharaj. Can you see now? No, it's not up. It was up, but then it disappeared. Mm -hmm. Let it's me share again. Screen share, yeah. Can you see now? No. <laughs> huh? I'm looking. Beautiful. It's so beautiful. Everyone should see this darshan. It's like unbelievable. We could see it, Guru Maharaj. We can see Guru Maharaj. Um... You can all see it? Yes, yeah. Sir. Let me see. What's up? Oh, there it is. Okay, now I have it. Screen sharing, yeah. 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 Wow, pure yellow, practically. Yellow is the actual color, but they mix in green also. That's the color for today. Jai CC Radha Ramanji Ki Jai. Okay. For those that are interested, um, tonight at our temple here in Slovenia, I'm giving the uh, Bhagavad Gita class, which will pretty much be the same what you heard today on uh, the Sun Panchami, the Acharyas. So if you're interested in hearing it again, it'll be tonight at six o'clock UK time. And you can get live streaming from that, I think, from either Facebook or other. Yeah, that's the Slovenia Ljubljana Temple. Okay, we'll see you all very soon. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you very much for your valuable time and association. <laughs> Thanks, devotee, Thank also for joining this. Shila Prabhupada ki jai. Dev ki jai. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you very much. Thank you, Guru Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Glories to Shila Prabhupada. Thank you, Maharaj. Hare Krishna.